Hello, I'm Dr. Mahadevan, and I'm a faculty member at the Stanford Center for Health Education. I'm excited to let you know that I'm joined today by a student, and we'll be chatting about why it's important for young and healthy individuals to get vaccinated. Mohammed, it's great to see you. What questions do you have for me? Hi, Dr. Mahadevan. Um, it's nice to see you too. Um, the first question I had, uh, a lot of friends have been asking me, um, they're asking if it's important to get the vaccination at all. Um, won't they just be able to fight off COVID if they don't get vaccinated? That's a great point, and you're right. Younger adults generally have stronger immune systems. Unfortunately, SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes COVID-19, can cause serious harm to young, otherwise healthy people. We know that here in the U.S., nearly 2,500 18 to 29-year-olds have died from COVID, and many more have been hospitalized with serious complications. During the pandemic thus far, about one in every 1,000 people aged 18 to 29 in the U.S. has been hospitalized because of COVID. And many people your age develop a syndrome called long COVID. And this syndrome, long COVID, can cause chronic fatigue, trouble concentrating or brain fog, heart problems, difficulty breathing, and other kinds of damage to the body. Wow, that sounds really serious. I didn't realize that COVID could be so damaging for young people like me. Um, but how would the vaccine change any of that? What does it do differently? Yeah, the difference is that the vaccine helps your body's immune system recognize and destroy the coronavirus in a safe and controlled way. So you're basically boosting your defenses without running the risk of getting really sick, like people that get COVID. Some people definitely do experience some side effects from the vaccine, like pain at the injection site, fever or chills and some fatigue. But these side effects are a sign that your immune system is turned on as it prepares to defend you against future exposures to the real virus. But don't worry if you don't develop any of these vaccine side effects, as a bunch of studies have shown that your immune system is still ready to battle the coronavirus. I mean, this all sounds like it would help, um, but how, how would this um, help people who kind of feel safe already and, and they don't really feel like they need to get vaccinated to feel safe for themselves? Yeah, I can understand how they might be willing to risk it. But another important benefit of getting vaccinated is that you can prevent others from getting sick too. Mm -hmm. Getting vaccinated can protect your friends, your family, and your loved ones, and those who may not have as strong an immune system as you do. And so getting the jab can be the difference between life or death for a grandparent, a friend with a chronic illness, or a child who's too young to be vaccinated. That's interesting. How, how does that work? Well, by getting vaccinated, you make it harder for the virus to infect you. And then this in turn makes it less likely for you to pass the virus on to someone else. And so getting vaccinated will prevent you from spreading the virus to others. And another big advantage is that if enough people get vaccinated, this beneficial effect gets compounded. And if I can't pass on the virus to you and you can't pass on the virus to the next person, then eventually the virus has nowhere to go. And we call this community or herd immunity. And that's what's gonna get us all back to normal. Well, that's what we want. That sounds great. Um, it's so cool that we would be able to help with just one person getting vaccinated to get towards uh, back to normal. Thanks so much for answering my questions, Dr. Mondavin. Absolutely, happy to Mohammed. And that's it for today's episode. Take a look at our Viral Facts playlist for more answers to common COVID-19 questions and head to www.vaccines.gov to find out where you can get vaccinated today.